Hey all you pet lovers welcome to the Ganban experience a podcast about all things outside work and in this particular series I'm going to cover train travel for our pet dog Burfi so I'm going to probably rename the channel as the Burfi channel for the duration of this web series you will see an in-depth detailed review step by step guidance on traveling in the train from one location to the other all the questions that you wanted to ask were afraid to ask or did not get answers to will be answered here so stay tuned hello everybody welcome to the burfi channel this is ayan and i am going to walk you through taking your pet from one destination to the other now you've seen multiple pet videos people taking their pets along in the railways in the train so what's going to be different here but three things I have tried to capture the pre journey T minus 45 to T minus 1 or 2 to the T minus 0 the day of the journey and then T plus 1 a day post journey so why this break up because there are ton of smaller parts that you need to take care of to think about to pre plan so that you don't reinvent the wheel and you know figure out or stumble upon or eventually delay your trip for some reason so there's a ton of first hand information of transporting your pet from one location to the other now given that this is for calcutta to bangalore it doesn't mean folks from delhi to mumbai will not find this useful because while you're using the indian railways the predominant procedures the process remains the same 90 95% will be the same only 5 or 7% of of it probably will be city dependent so by and large you uh, people from other destinations might find this useful clearly within these three phases phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 i have subdivided into multiple topics so i'll walk you through them if you stick till the end i will share lots of insights tips and tricks that you can leverage as and when you travel or plan your travel with your pet on that note let's dive in and before i go please share like and subscribe with people who might need to hear this kind of content let's begin the journey cheers okay welcome back let's dive into phase 1 phase 1 is the pre journey we are beginning from t minus 45 and what are the aspects that we are going to cover we are going to cover buying tickets equipment print outs application format document set visiting the commercial office or the building where to submit the application taking burfi to the station medical certificates and all other preparations that are required between t minus 45 to t minus 1 let's find out Okay let's begin the phase 1 pre planning the journey website irctc.co.in i'll walk you through it i'll show you on my laptop how to locate there are some tricky parts in it so let's find out okay let's get started simple go to google search irctc you get the website it's there right up front this is how the website looks like it's fairly decently planned just close all these pop ups look at the don't don't get away get to search right here uh, pull you back into the login page select the login page if you haven't created an account then create one otherwise enter your username details and you have put a captcha here see type type here so it's in this case it's this is the captcha so don't forget to enter this you can also log in through booking with uh, otp and then sign in hey so there is one quick point before we log in when you click on this option premium partners make my trip ease my trip and go ibibo now you can book your tickets from any of these but they are aggregators and my suggestion would be to stick to the parent website as much as possible nothing wrong with any of these websites they do a fine job but just to be on the safe side you go with the parent and therefore no matter how difficult or tacky it might be you want to book your tickets here and like i said go into the login there are other things you you can probably explore later on 
but uh, for now just log in in the way that i mentioned again the don't forget because you think this is an advert but there is actually a captcha in between so let's sign in okay so back to the train schedule so you saw the train schedule uh, rainy gunta is the place where you need to let people know and then get ready to alight once you reach your final destination so that's the train schedule the longest one uh, stop is in uh, these three stations 10 minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes so my sense is uh, all these 10 minutes you might want to prepare in advance because you will be alighting the train at 10 15 in the morning the next time the train stops is at uh, 4 30 or 4 20 in the evening it's a fairly long time to be in a coupe and uh, so make sure that you take uh, the harness out and uh, take your pet for a walk probably near the engine because the bogey will be close to the engine and uh, the platform will be dirty so carry wet wipes and wipe the paws again uh, and don't let be very watchful not uh, to let the pet eat anything uh, strewn on the platform that is very very critical because if uh, they eat something then finding a doctor or a vet in the middle of the journey will be incredibly difficult so be extra watchful and careful there so these are the two things and then clearly the other one is at uh, Vizianagaram uh, which is uh, at 10 o'clock then that, that could be one before you guys uh, pack off to sleep that could be one quick round uh, for any uh, pee or poop that might need to be taken care of um, and, and there is space uh, you, you, in the platform you know they will have the sense of smell where there is uh, pee there and if you can walk down the platform towards just after the platform ends sometimes there is this uh, grassy area they might want to be, <laughs> bear in mind you know watch uh, the train right and be careful of the time because these trains are fairly accurate in their departure don't get adventurous and you know catch the train while running especially with a pet uh, not advisable at all so if it's a 10 minute halt you're looking take it as like a seven minute halt and then plan your um, dog trip as it were within that seven minutes keep a very tight watch on that and then, then you are set, right, for the next day morning, clearly, whenever you guys get up. Um, if you do get up at around 4 in the morning, then that's a good time to take the dog out. If not, I recommend not going out at 4 in the morning in Vijayawada. Um, not that it's not safe or anything, but clearly, if you can avoid it, then that's better. And uh, chances are, Reni Gunta, uh, you can get some fresh air, maybe just outside the door because just a two minute halt mind you it's not a 10 minute halt just a two minute halt so you just open the door get some fresh air because the ac air constantly circulates within the uh, coupe so it's important you do that right so probably step out and uh, take the one quick fresh air and then come back in. that's how you plan your uh, uh, trip and journey when you book the tickets clearly this is how the screen will show and you have to opt for ac first class you have to hit this refresh button to see the latest now wl5 means it's waitlist 5 almost it's a risky business to book this because the likelihood of it not getting confirmed is very high so you have to keep going keep going till uh, you see either an rac that is a reservation against cancellation or a confirmed ticket available that will this red thing will the, the fonts will be in green so my sense is we'll have to modify the the travel date uh, this is september so 40 days is october so 18th is 30 days and say another 15 days say november first week let's see how we are in november first week and see november first week duranto again the same it's still not available so you see how far ahead you have to plan let's try the next week and see if it is available you do yes so the earliest ticket that is available this means that eight seats are available eight berths are available starting monday 21st november as of 
18th of September. So you can imagine how far ahead you may want to plan. But also bear in mind, this is the festive season, the Sera Diwali, school holidays, what what have you. So people, there's increased travel frequency, but you may want to take this into consideration. Okay, so that is one important aspect. The other important aspect while booking a ticket, for example, I'm booking like this, you need to select an option of reserving the coupe. You know, the coupe ensures that you see here, coupe. The coupe ensures that it's a two berth mini cabin and you have the privacy to yourselves. This is a very important point simply because if you opt for a cabin, there will be four seats. So there will be two other passengers in the same cabin. And if they object, this is very important. If they object, then you have no choice but to leave the dog in the guard van, which is absolutely not advisable. So you have to select the coupe as an option, enter the details, and then take it from there. And so once you hit the book now on a confirmed ticket, this is how the ticket printout will be. You have to carry this printout. Additionally, if you go, there is something called a last transaction detail, which can be printed out from the website. This is a little more legible and clear. This is like a shrink to fit. So the fonts are really small, not clear, but both these papers are important. Just another tip here, while you are booking uh, on the given date, if you can, and you are booking a coupe, if you book on say uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, if the train is operational on those days, the probability of getting a coupe is slightly higher because the railways would prefer, if there are any VIPs traveling, then they often get those coupes as a preference. And so typically they would travel on a Monday or end of the week, Friday, you know, that it's an, it's an assumption here, but I'm just thinking, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday would be ideal. It could well be they're traveling on Tuesdays, but I'm just suggesting that that's something you may want to think about. Okay, now that you have the tickets sorted, you know what to do, who to inform, all that is done. Let's talk about the very important application that you need to submit to the chief commercial officer. In this segment, I'm going to show you how the application looks like, what the format is, and what is the content in that format. Feel free to use your own content, but this is something that I tried. Here goes. And there you have your entire docket ready. Make at least three copies, one, two, three, three copies of this entire set with you before you travel. This is the format of the letter. At the top left hand corner, you see the address for who you need to address. Important here is Southeastern Railway and it's the Garden Reach office. The subject is simple, allotting two births. We were two travelers. You can have four travelers. If that's what you travel, insert the PNR number and the intended date on of travel. The body of the email is fairly straight and simple. Insert the name of the main passenger and the co-passenger, if you are two of you, uh, location from where to where and the description of the dog or your pet uh, with an average age of that time or the correct age actually of, of that time on the time of travel. The second paragraph in the body of the email is about being fully vaccinated and uh, fit to travel. All certificates are approved and available. And the third paragraph is simply about letting them know that it's a small dog and you, you are required as a dog parent to take care of it. And so please allot the two birth coupe and end it with the PNR number and the date of travel and the last important point, the time of travel. Sometimes uh, these guys release it very close, like two hours or three, two and a half hours before the travel. Uh, the availability of the coupe that is so much of it depends on that so best bet is to you know keep it in this structure and again it's not etched in stone 
for some people they, you may not require at all if you are four people so you can be allotted a cabin but if you are just two people then this is the format generally um, which works okay now that you have an idea of the tickets the application format your docket is ready you are t minus 45 you are from a paperwork standpoint you are almost set again double check triple check have two or three sets because one is for the chief commercial officer you leave the entire set one is that you carry in the train one is if it is required in the parcel office and i'll cover what the parcel office is on t minus zero that is phase two of the travel the day of journey right so you to be on the safe side just have four sets right because one by chance gets torn water falls puke happens you know shit hits the fan stuff like that happens right, so carry four sets clip them properly make it like a nice bunch and keep it in a uh, plastic bag so that you know it doesn't um, get damaged in any way it's very important to confirm reconfirm the content of the application for coupe because if you do not have the coupe chances are there is this dog cabin right at the guard uh, van which is the last bogey of the train and it is unhygienic it is poorly maintained the heat is unbearable sometimes and your pet could catch infections and also i probably wouldn't advise that direction anyways to the point that if you don't get a coupe you may even have to abort the travel you heard that right if you don't get the coupe it's a risky business because they will allot you a cabin of four people then you have to ask the tt the ticket uh, examiner that will you please ensure that nobody else comes in in which case you might have to pay for two additional tickets so for two travel you might have to pay four that is way too much but that's what it is and or if the two people who occupy those uh, vacant berths then you have to hope and pray and request that they don't get offended they don't you know people are people if you find a dog lover then it's a blessing but if you don't then you don't right what do you do i would be mentally prepared that if that is a eventuality then i will not travel if if the tt says no there is no coupe and uh, there are only berth and i cannot guarantee that the two other passengers will agree because you have to figure this out on the day of the travel at the station it can't be that you go up until uh Vizag and the two guys come up and say oops i can't do it it becomes very messy then so that assurance commitment has to be upfront and you will locate the tte as early as possible it's a challenge and i'll i'll try and share the experience how to find them what do we do at the parcel office on the day of the journey because the allotment of the coupe will be intimated to you on the day of the journey three hours or four hours prior to travel so if it's a 10 50 departure think of it like a 7 50 or a you know 7 30 time frame when the message will come as a text message sms where you will get the details of uh, who pay allotted and then you can breathe a sigh of relief at least the travel is happening right so very important that you follow up if need be you walk up to the officer and request them in person along they will redirect you to drop it in the box and i'll share the pictures with you where is the box where is the cell who do you talk to eq cell eq cell is the office that you need to go into the new building and i will share it with pictures but uh, bear in mind they will ask you to deposit it in the box a day before travel so if you're traveling on a tuesday you've got to deposit on a monday I did two days earlier and I'll probably go back and deposit, you know, uh, let the guy know that do, do I need to drop another set just in case. Hope you have received it. Hope it is in process. They might chew you off, but it's worth the attempt now. Do the stuff that you can before you travel. This is T minus 2, T minus 1. We covered T minus 45. Now we have reached the stage where your phase 1, by and large, from a travel preparation standpoint, is uh, is done okay friends we are on t minus two so two days to go before travel or one day to go before travel you can pick either of these days to drop your application for coupe in the new administrative building the important part is go to southeastern railway which is located in the area of garden reach 
in in once you enter there is the new building right in front of you and on on your left will be the old building if you go to the old building floor number 2 and you will find the drop box there in the images that follow you will know exactly what to do and where to locate thanks this is the building you have to go straight inside the stairs are on on your right or take the elevator to floor number 2 This is the drop box where you need to drop your application it is applicable for all classes make sure you bunch them properly that's why i said put clips so that they don't uh, you know get misplaced or disintegrate in in some way or the other and so ensure they are either stapled or clipped before you drop it in this box Okay we are on T minus 1 and we are going to do a Howrah station recce I'd advise that you travel to the station the day before travel just to figure out where is what and how to get there instead of figuring it out on the day of travel which might get you a little hassled so in this um, day in this uh, segment I'm going to show you how to reach the parcel office that's where you have to take the pet and get the application signed weigh them and the ticket uh, for your pet is purchased in this location so you will see all of this in the images and the segment that follows here so guys i'm nearing shed number 2 this is t minus 1 travel date is tomorrow we have to come to this shed in front and i'll show you, show you the pictures and the idea is to go into the ticket booth counter with the pet get the document signed uh, and the ticket and wait and then go back it's about uh, about a kilometer from platform 21 you have to cross to towards your right to platform number 17 and then come locate this shed it's a bit uh, you have to ask people uh, and you will find uh, the way I will show the camera a little bit so that uh, there is enough clarity for all of you. This is the shed number two. This is the platform number seventeen on this side, and this is the road to it. I will walk you through it. This is the area, so that you can recognize it. All right. Now that you have seen how to go to Howrah Station, where to locate the parcel office, we are pretty much done between T minus forty five. through to t minus 1 so this is all the pre travel preparation that you needed to do in the next segment i'm going to take you through the day of the journey that the travel itself in the train and the experiences thereof so stay tuned i hope you enjoyed this video the idea was to be informative detailed as far as possible so that anybody traveling from uh, kolkata to bangalore in 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 a train need not ask anybody else to be fair and clearly some of this information will need to be updated as time passes by but by and large 70 80% of it should still be valid on that note see you in the next segment cheers